we're all about being ambassadors of change. We want to bring change in Kenya. We want to make sure that uh, we, we also play with the top teams that are there in Africa. And uh, that is the challenge that we took since last year. <laughs> Expose him! Expose him! It's a challenging pool, but we, are, we, we see ourselves as contenders also. Yeah, we know Senegal is a good team, Angola is a good team, but we're also good. Yeah, it's just that now we're just new in the block, but we are as good as them. Eric Mutoro, the captain with the, uh, with the steal. However, Senegal come right back and get it down low, and it's Baji. So the game coming to life. Ali Oop and the dunk. And Senegal showing themselves to be the high flyers. Back and forth they go. Lots of lead changes. Ali Oop pass and the jam by Ibrahim Afai, who has been the pick of the players so far for Senegal. We are not planning on changing anything because it's a working strategy and uh, you don't change what is working for you. Cleveland Hanna kind of passes it back outside. Bosire misses from deep and Fai gets the rebound, throws it up. Cleveland Hanna then throws it back and another dunk for Senegal. This time is number 15, Yusuf for the Endoy. I think we have a, ch a chance if we play our cards well because uh, we are going to play quality teams. Uh, Senegal, Angola are one of the best teams in Africa. So, and Mozambique is also, they've been there, they've done it. So we're just an uh, upcoming team and uh, we're a young team but we believe in us. We, li we believe in the process and hopefully when we go there we we're going to show them what Kenya Moran is made of. Think. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah again dribbles with his head up, makes the pass, Ali, oh ball! Well, take your pick, folks. Who's going to dunk it? So the foul, Valen Valentine uh, Niakenda. Uh, as I said, Senegal is one of the toughest teams in Africa. Let's be honest, because they've been there. They've done it, and they have good players who are playing in Europe, NBA. Same as uh, Angola. Angola, I think Angola, they've won it 10 times. So those are teams that we are going to play quality teams, and it's all on us. It's, it's the little things that we're gonna do that's gonna win us the game: rebounds, uh, loose balls. Uh, I believe we have a chance because we are still a, we have a young team, even though I'm old, but we still have a young team. So I believe we can we can achieve something. I, I will say that we, we respect them, but we don't fear them. You know, uh, the word fear should not be there because we respect the team because they're a quality team, but we don't fear them. So if we go there with no fear, we can do something. So I can just love him because he got, he got beat up so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Kenya is seen as an underdog. Probably underdogs have done much in the finals. Yeah, we are the underdogs because we've never been there lately. Because the last time we were there was 1993, yeah? It was hosted in Kenya 27 years ago. So I think we have a chance to do something special. And uh, I believe in what we have and I believe in the process. And if we stick to our process, I think we have a chance to achieve something. We've got, we got to sneak in, you know, like... <laughs> uh, has not been as intense here for Kenya here in the second quarter. Cleveland Hanna, shifty move, passes it back outside. And this time, Louis Adams. I love this move. But Cleveland Hanna... He's got a couple of assists. Score right now. He won Kenya. And Senegal just turning it on and going up and dunking it home on a dime. Malik dime. Your screen going up against Senegal in the white and the green stripes. And the green the green trim rather and the SWAT to start things off. <laughs> uh, expect uh, positive results. As we are going to Rwanda, we are psyched up. <laughs> <laughs> All of our players have reported to camp. As you can see, Desmond Willy is here. Uh, is here with us, and uh, the morale is high. This nigga scared. For the first time, I can see. I want to thank the Kenyan fans first of all, 
they've been so supportive. As you can see, we've received our new uh, uniforms today, and uh, we just like to thank uh, Rentco for what they've done for us. And uh, as we want to, uh, as we are proceeding to Rwanda, uh, our goal is still the same: to qualify for the FIBA Africa Championships. And uh, we still not set eyes out of our target. Our eyes are still on the target, and uh, we want to go and qualify. For the pass from Cleveland Hanna. And there's time. Oh, goodness me. He saw the ball and he says, I'm going to do a little bit of. How about that for dime? Attack and by Enjai. Lou Adams again hands it off. And an easy two for Abdu Baji up against it. Louis Adams. Alley oop and the dunk. How many times have we seen that tonight? I can say our chances are we are we do not want to underestimate any team. They see us and as underdogs, we see we see them as competitors. We'll go into that floor, we'll compete with them. We respect them, but we do not fear them. Can you just have to keep playing? But they turn it over. And Senegal again in transition. And the flush by Mbai Njai reeling in this fourth quarter. Call the timeout. Here it is again. What must it be like to look Karanga? But his pass batted away. This will be a, a two-handed flush. Yes! Another one by Ibrahim Afai. Uh, but Kenya have just had a nightmare in this fourth quarter. Outscored 22 to 2 now. Now make it 24 to 2. And if he goes to the line and makes the free throw, three point shot. Short. And again, another break. And this is an aspect of the game that Kenya are going to have to work on. Look at where it went wrong and fix it for the next time. And that has got to be a, a frustrating finish, <laughs> to put it mildly, for Kenya. But a great uh, fourth quarter performance by Senegal. <laughs> Qualify. I can say our chances are we, are we do not want to underestimate any team. They see us and, as underdogs. We see, we see them as competitors. We'll go into that floor. We'll compete with them. We respect them, but we do not fear them. Yeah. <laughs> because we've practiced and uh, we also believe that they have also practiced but uh, we do not fear any competitor we'll just go with what we've been uh, doing throughout uh, the the training camp since october what we've been practicing is what we're going to bring on the floor and uh, we believe that uh, we are going to emerge victorious in the end expose him expose him <laughs> They should have made this ready. We come sit, talk, yes. go. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that we are not coming here yeah. now. No, no. Uh, he, uh, uh, I think uh, when he stepped up, played well. And at a desk, he, he made some new moves. Then yeah. fatigue crept up. And there are people we missed today. Oh, yeah. There are people we missed. They are just uh, good practice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I, sometimes you are not executing, like when a sound plays, you're kind of getting us out of the Yeah. Jama, Mufa, I'm going to wake up, Asana, to tend. Then we come. We are ready. So, where is she? Having lapses in, in the game, and they really, being an experienced side, they did capitalize on the lapses that we, we had in the game.
So uh, we hope you're able to make those corrections come, uh, come tomorrow. Um, coach, uh, you missed a very important player that could have helped you in this game, Bushwa Mkoto. Um, how are you going to go forward, especially in the paint? <laughs> we missed him in the first game, so we have to go on with the games. And uh, uh, we will work with the unit we are having and uh, uh, focus just on uh, competing hard to win the games that are ahead of us. Mm. Uh, to Tyler, um, this is a very tough group, you know. Yeah. Um, Senegal is a team that was at the World Cup last year. Tomorrow you play another team that was at the World Cup, Angola. Mm -hmm. um, what do you look forward to tomorrow um, playing against this team? What, do you, what corrections would you make? Uh, first of all, our shots have to go in. Uh, that was the key today. And uh, I think it's all about confidence. So I think tomorrow, uh, today we just got to just forget about today. Uh, but go through the videos and see what we did wrong. Mm -hmm. And I think tomorrow, just come out and compete and just raise the level and play the way we know we're supposed to play. And I know we're going to do that. A few moments later. Uh, you look like you run out of breath, I should say, in the third quarter. How do you approach uh, something like that? I, I really think in the third quarter, I think third quarter is probably the, the time that we played well and got mm -hmm. the game close. It's in the fourth quarter that, uh, uh, like, uh, we, our shots didn't, didn't drop. Mm -hmm. And if the shots do not drop, especially against a team like Senegal, and they're able to control the boards, and they're also a, a very good transition team, mm -hmm. that's what made the difference. Mm -hmm. But uh, running out of breath, I really don't think so. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we should be able to uh, gather ourselves together all the time uh, and run. We are runners anyway. Surely there's uh, something that you can thank the boys for, something that you did right today. What would that be? I think we did a great job boxing out in the first quarter and the third quarter. Our energy level was pretty good. And that's, what, that's the consistency that we need. We need to carry on that to, to the end of the game. We have to do that all the four, four quarters of the game. If we do that well, we are able to get back in the championship and uh, win it. On uh, Senegal's experience, I think in this tournament we probably the first team, the team coming to it in like 27 years. They have experience. Other than that, they have uh, the competitive edge of us, and uh, some of our bench players uh, we probably were not able to match up to the bench players of uh, Senegal, but that's, uh, and uh, again, our shots actually weren't dropping, so we can say, uh, I can uh, simply say, uh, they were better side uh, than us, they, they've, uh, they prepared probably better than us. Last year we saw uh, the rise of Kenya at the African. You mm -hmm. introduced yourselves to the African continent. Mm -hmm. um, and this right here is another reminder that Kenya is on the way up. Um, how does that mentality help you in going into tomorrow's game? And is it a do or die? Uh, I don't think it's a do or die. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we still have some more games. We still have the second leg. And also, I mean, to be honest, uh, a lot of our players are out today that we know are very important for us. So, but our group, like we competed, that's the most important thing. And for sure, we're gonna be all right. I mean, personally, today I play like shit, but uh, maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll step it up. Yeah. A two. Now up ahead, Gonzalez, easy layup. Oh boy, they go right around. The defense. No look pass. Beautiful play, Angola. Here on day two, the FIBA Afro Basket qualifiers, the no look pass. A, little bit of a few moments later. We've been talking as a team. We are focused on winning uh, uh, all our games. And if so uh, bad, uh, for sure we, be, we should be able to win uh, uh, two games in this championship. Come February, we, uh, we win one game we will be sure for, uh, to have qualified. I want to tell all our fans uh, that they stay positive. 
the uh, cheers up. We're going to work hard to see to it that we win, uh, we win the games in, uh, in Kigali. A few moments later. And at that time, Kenya just give the rebound away. And boy, was that costly. That is uh, almost unforgivable. Now again, going for the steal, he does. He forces the turnover. And swooping it. See if uh, they can capitalize. No, they cannot. And again, this time, he's not going to miss. He's just going to lay it up. Nowhere to go. The ball hands off. And there, Lopez uh, gets an easy deuce. Cipriano gets it to Dundao. His alley oop pass. And Lopez is up to the. There's John Lopez Pedro up to the task. Give us your view about these preparations and everything. All right. Wonderful. Big Ted here. I'm the chairman of the Kenya Basketball Federation Management Board. And uh, we are a new team which has been tasked with the responsibility of raising resources and also raising awareness about the national team. So, of course... A few moments later. For this team from Kenya, it starts with a Nongwai shot. Uh, but Valdolito Joaquim puts pay to that. Joaquim. Three-point shot. And Cipriano nails another one. Uh, 16, in fact, because he started this half with a basket. Then Opalo drives in and scores and has a chance for a three-point play. The next step of being able to shortlist the players coming in from abroad, as you mentioned, yes, all our players who are outside are on their way back in right now. Bungay, um, um, who's uh, making his debut, as you said, from Australia, is also coming in. We also have our players in uh, Rwanda, Uganda, and other states who will also be coming in this week. Cipriano again and again, he gets Well, if the Silva was the guy that impressed last night, it's Jose Antonio today, and here is another impressive play, the steal by the big fella. Uh. <laughs> we intend to simulate the exact situation that they'll play in in Rwanda, in terms of having all the electronics, all the technicals, and the, the whole uh, sphere uh, being ready for them. Yeah. <laughs> a few moments later. Well, if the Silva was the guy that impressed last night, it's Jose Antonio today, and here is another impressive play, the steal by the big fella. Uh, Antonio out there, they've got more weapons. Here he is. Gets baseline, puts it up and in. He's tough. At least make this more respectable. They get it back to 28 points. The Silva catches. And just kind of floats in. For, that was sloppy. They need to come away with points in that situation. Form good habits. Karanga gets blocked. They need, they need games together. Jose Antonio, and look at Jose Antonio. They were walking. A few moments later. The last question probably for me. Are you ready for the Afro basketball qualifiers? How ready are you? And is Kenya going to make it to be among the top three teams qualifying? Well, we showed the world what we can do right here at Nyaya Stadium. We're about to show the world what we are made of. One of the things that we're also doing is we're using this to gauge new players uh, who we have in the training team, and which will build a new crop of players for the next squads that are coming up. Now, Kenya is going in there, and uh, I know the other countries are not taking us lightly because you know what we did to South Sudan right here, what we've done to the other teams in the qualifiers. So this is actually going to be a very, very tough uh, match, but we are up to the task. Our players are psyched up, pumped, ready to, the, to do this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later. Short, and again, another break, and this is an aspect of the game that Kenya are gonna have to work on. Look at where it went wrong and fix it for the next time. And that has got to be a, a frustrating finish, <laughs> to put it mildly, for Kenya. But a great uh, fourth quarter performance by Senegal. <laughs> they will win by 17 points. Kakao disappointed. I don't know if he knows how close he was. 
Eight points, 11 rebounds. So oh close to a double double. <laughs> 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 so that is the chairman, uh, Big Ted, from Kenya Basketball uh, Board. He's the chairman there. And we are expecting the national team to perform well down there in, in, in Rwanda so that they qualify for the Afro basketball. First leg, second leg, Kenya is going to triumph. <laughs> uh, I, many people refer to our pool as a pool of death and I think <laughs> I think we are part of that death so we'll see how best we are able to uh, compete against them yes true I'd like to ask you um, uh, uh, Mutoro what did you think about today's performance I can say today's performance uh, we tried and executed uh, a few things that uh, we didn't do uh, previous game and uh, it worked for us it's, it's just that uh, it came a little bit late after Angola had taken the lead but uh, we are still hopeful that uh, our game plan if we put it into practice we'll get a good results yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later I know there's that expectation from everybody else because we had a good run last year and what we do we're riding that confidence that we had and we know what we need to do right a few moments later much better fourth quarter uh, from yesterday uh, spirited fight from the boys what did you make of the performance uh, i think we did we, had a, we did a great job uh, there are a lot of positive positive things that happened in that in that game and uh, again speaking of an experienced side like angola you still <laughs> cannot uh, uh, have some mistakes because they're going to punish you with those mistakes, but I give the boys the credit for uh, uh, cutting the points down from 30 to 17. That was uh, that was good, especially in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mutoro, how do you go forward from this point? Uh, basically, our main aim is to just qualify, and uh, still we are not out of the fight. We still have one more game to play tomorrow, mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to go back to the drawing board and. Uh, do something about it. We have done some research and uh, we're going to go back to the drawing board and just prepare for that game and uh, hopefully we know that uh, we'll emerge victorious because Mozambique also has two losses. Sorry, they lost yesterday mm -hmm. and uh, so we believe that uh, tomorrow if we get a win from that, come the second leg we'll go in pre uh, prepared. <laughs> <laughs> confident with what we do and once we go out there to compete with these highly ranked teams we know what we're supposed to do everybody know their job because we've worked on it in the preparation phase yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest uh, a lot of our players was out today that we know are very important for us so but our group like we competed that's the most important thing and for sure we're gonna be all right I mean personally today I play like shit but uh, Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll step it up, yeah. From today, uh, uh, instead of yesterday, the match of yesterday, where do you think that you perform today? I think we, we, we were better than yesterday. I, I give uh, yesterday's game, I give credit to the uh, Senegalese team. There are a lot of things they did right. And uh, today, uh, with the Angola's experience, there are also some good things that they did, but we were able to stop a lot, a lot of the uh, things that they could have done uh, great and uh, uh, score a couple of points uh, against us. <laughs> About your transitional defense. Uh, uh, like, uh, there's something we did yesterday that uh, we stayed so much on uh, straight up man to man and. Uh, we struggled with that, so uh, today we were uh, kind of like uh, uh, trying to switch those defenses and uh, uh, matching up at some point in time. So I think that that helped us in the game and we were able to uh, get some things away. <laughs> so uh, so uh, Eric, uh, what do you think for the matter tomorrow? You, you on, uh, already responded to to Osha, but is it the final of your group with, against maybe Mozambique? Yeah, to us, that's the final match. And uh, 
we're going to give it our all because now is the last match. We have nothing to <laughs> we have nothing to reserve ourselves. We don't have to reserve ourselves. So tomorrow we are going in full hundred, and then after that we just wait now for the second phase of the tournament. Yeah. Um, Coach, there are two questions for you from uh, journalists uh, who are unable to be here. Uh, the first one is, uh, how concerned are you about the way the team takes care of the ball? <laughs> we, we talked about that, especially yesterday. We had uh, like uh, over 20, cl close to 22, 24 turnovers. And uh, today we did a better job. We had 18, not good yet, not uh, uh, quite as good, but then we got to uh, really uh, work more on it. The other thing is that we do, we've been struggling in uh, the one position, I know that, because uh, we are working with makeshift point guards, <laughs> for that matter. <laughs> Eric is not really a point guard, he plays two more, and uh, Bosir likewise, so because... Uh, <laughs> Who's calling you? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so we've uh, we've been talking about it, and uh, I think uh, Griff will be ready to go in the final game, and uh, we we should be able to uh, get, take better care of that ball. Mm -hmm. And then another question also is, uh, what's your assessment of uh, your team on uh, half court offense? Our execution has not been uh, very good uh, compared to how we've been. And we, we understand, we know numerous reasons as to why that is uh, not happening. Uh, but we, we, we're working on it. we really just working hard to pull this one win. Then we go back home, be able to reorganize ourselves. We will, uh, I strongly believe we will be better uh, come uh, 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 February. <laughs> a few moments later. If we put our house in order, the boys are getting camp by Wednesday next week. And uh, we have the necessary resources with us. We, we, stand, we uh, stand a chance of qualifying. We stand a chance of qualifying. About your transitional defense. Uh, uh, like, uh, there's something we did yesterday that uh, we stayed so much on uh, straight up man to man, and uh, we struggled with that. So uh, today we were uh, kind of like uh, uh, trying to switch those defenses and uh, uh, matching up at some point in time. So. I think that that helped us in the game, and we were able to uh, get some things for it. Like uh, over 20, cl close to 22, 24 turnovers. And uh, today we did a better job. We had 18, not good yet, not uh, uh, quite as good, but then we got to uh, really uh, work more on it. The other thing is that we do, we've been struggling in uh, the one position, I know that, because uh, we are working with makeshift point guards, <laughs> for that matter. <laughs> Eric is not really a point guard, he plays two more, and uh, Bosir likewise. I'm not like he's, uh, I can say he's great. Yeah, so far he's great. We, we're having fun because it's basketball that has brought us here, and uh, we know what we have to do, so, so far, we just enjoy ourselves. The move is nice. We have so much in our hands. We needed to split responsibilities. So the board, the main task will be to manage the national team holistically. <laughs>